The writing is on the wall. The history of this 43-year-old school is summarized on this faded Manila paper. It was started in 1970, but it has struggled to keep its doors open. For instance, it closed between 1977 to 1988, only to close again between 1992 and 1994. Nakoko Primary School in Silale, East Pokot, Baringo County. The empty desks not strange here, and pupils outside the classroom is not strange as well. There are only two teachers to man the over 160 pupils and four classrooms to accommodate seven classes. But the strange thing, no candidate has ever sat the crucial Kenya Certificate of Primary Education Examination, KCPE. I'm feeling so sad. And in fact, one time, I went to the hobbies and I was very ready to leave even this profession. Because I told them, if I am teaching children whom they will not sit for the examination, then there is no need of me being there. That is the time when I requested more teachers. That is when I was given one. Who doubles up as the deputy head teacher? It is really very sad at this moment or at this age uh, for us as a school like this one to be in a situation like this, Stone Age, where our parents were a long time ago. 43 years later, the people of Silale dream on. It will be just a mere dream because having a mission without the very people to carry on the vision. I think we will not achieve. This is the 11th head teacher to report to this public primary school. The more things change, the more they stay the same. But in seven classes, there are manned by two teachers. Even though we are working miracles, we can make. We can make. But how can this happen in a country where basic education is right? And when the child reaches class six, they withdraw that one and they replace with a smaller one which is the nursery. That is the scenario. The girls are married off and the young boys become herders, while some end up in cattle rustling. Food here is scarce. And for pupils, the main thing driving them to school is not for books and knowledge, but free food. And it is not unusual for hunger's chicken parents to troop to the school too for the same free food. Classrooms are few, and so the younger ones spend most of their time outside. For a school which has been closed twice, a school where the KCP examination is as alien as the lessons they've never had. Up to 1992, it was uh, closed again because of insecurity. And it was reopened again in 1994 to date. All along, the school has been having uh, problems in terms of uh, uh, shortage of teachers, uh, before the new constitution was brought in, the, and before the creation of the new district. Will 2013 be different? Judicus Gay, Citizen TV.